What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to share with you a super important thing that I learned from having adult advertising enabled on my Bing Ads account and how it affected my other campaigns. So what I'm going to do in this video is briefly explain what adult advertising is and what I learned by having it on my account, give you examples of how it affected my account. Um, I have two campaigns I wanted to show you, uh, and then I'm going to give you the two things you can do if you do have adult advertising enabled in order for your campaigns to not be affected. So adult advertising is, is just that. Um, if you don't have this enabled on your Bing Ads account, you will not be able to promote adult offers. Um, so your keywords and your ads will be automatically disapproved if they contain these adult words. Uh, so, you know, anything related to porn, sex, you know, anything like that won't be allowed on Bing unless you have permission. So if you need want permission to promote these types of offers, there's a bunch of them on Max Bounty, right? Like getnaughty.com, stuff like that. You need permission from Bing. So once you get permission, that's when you have this Bing Ads adult advertising shell added to your account and you can start promoting. Now, what I learned is just recently, actually, by speaking to someone with Bing uh, and then seeing the effects on my account is that your impressions and clicks will actually be much, much lower for your non-adult campaigns, not all of them but some campaigns will be greatly affected. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So a few of my campaigns, as soon as I found up, um, out about this, the impressions skyrocketed from, say, 30 to 1,000, right, in a week uh, when I took off adult advertising. So just to give you examples of what adult advertising can do is, let's go to the next page here. So here I have, for example, my campaign one on the adult ads account, right? So as you can see here, I generated 24 clicks and about 200 impressions. This was in a few weeks time, okay? So a few weeks, remember that, 200 impressions. We go on my other campaign, I have 30 impressions. So even worse, I had 30 impressions in a few weeks. Horrible. Now let's see what happened when I took adult advertising off. And I'm going to give you the two options you can take if you do have adult advertising enabled already. So remember campaign one, I had how many? Uh, how, how many impressions was it? 200 or so? Let's see what happens when I don't have adult advertising enabled. Now, this isn't an adult campaign, okay? Boom. All of a sudden, you see 7,500 impressions and 500 clicks, guys, um, in just one week. Not even a few weeks. So this campaign started, as you can see here, um, you know, Thursday the 17th or Friday the 17th. Uh, as you can see, Thursday, there's still nothing. Um, so in just a week, it already generated 7,500 impressions without adult advertising enabled. Huge difference. I mean, this is exponential difference. You go from 200 to 10,000 impressions, right? That's 50 times as much traffic. Look at the clicks. 550 clicks. How many sales do you think you can generate from that? Okay. So point is huge difference if you don't have adult advertising enabled. Let's go to my other campaign where you saw 30 impressions. This one didn't even run for a week. This one ran for a few days. And we see here 2,000 impressions from 30 to 2,000 without adult advertising enabled. Huge difference. So guys, if you're not promoting adult offers, or maybe you are, make sure you have another um, non-adult advertising account enabled. So the two things you can do if you do have adult advertising enabled like I did is one, you can ask the Bing reps to remove it. So follow the same process you did to get it approved. But if you think you're not going to promote adult off offers anymore, just ask them to remove the adult advertising shell from your account. That way you will start seeing these crazy impressions again on some of your other campaigns. Now, like I mentioned, this isn't on every campaign, but um, some campaigns are greatly affected, okay? The other thing you can do is actually create another account. And on this account, automatically, when you create a new account, you don't have access to adult advertising. So that's the account you can use. If, if you decide you want to keep your adult advertising enabled, 
you can just create another account and you can have one for adult advertising and one for non-adult advertising where the traffic won't be affected. Uh, so you can use the Bing Ads editor. That's what I used to copy and paste campaigns from your original account to the other one, right? Very simple to do. Uh, if you guys have questions or you want me to make a video on that, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to do that. It's super easy. Um, or you can just ask Bing Ads rep. So actually, I, I inquired about this a few times. I said, hey, why are my impressions so low? And it took some time for one rep to actually finally talk to me and say, hey, I think the reason is because of adult advertising. And I didn't believe him at first because I thought, well, most of my campaigns are working just fine. Why is it only affecting this campaign? And apparently it made a huge difference. So I really wanted to share this with you, but he moved all my campaigns himself and he sent me a message, um, an email five minutes later saying, hey, everything's done. Just sign up here uh, using the same email and you're gonna create another account. So don't confuse sub account with account. So I'm not talking about creating another sub account, okay? So if you go to your main Bing Ads account, um, if you go to settings at the top right and you, ha and, and you have all those options there, you can click on add account. That's not what I'm talking about. You have to create a completely brand new account. You can use the same email, but you have to create a completely new account, not a sub account. So if you're unsure, just message Bing, App rep, uh, Bing Ads reps if you have adult advertising enabled and ask them, say, hey, I have adult advertising on this account. Can you help me create an entirely different account without adult advertising enabled, and they will help you do that. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Extremely, extremely important to go from, you know, 30 impressions to 2000, right? Huge difference, huge jump. Um, that is not at all what I was expecting, but that's what it is. Um, so I wanted to get it, um, to get this point for you out there, you know, especially for those of you following um, Cody's course, uh, and trying out and testing different campaigns. Well, if you had adult advertising enabled, you probably had no idea that this was happening. Um, if you want to check out that course, I'll have a link down below. But uh, make sure, guys, you have adult advertising either disabled or create another account. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, let me know down below. I try to be as responsive um, as I can. If you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I cover a lot of different online marketing videos, techniques, tips, tricks, reviews, all that good stuff. Um, otherwise, thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video.